Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bev. Um, if you're new here, Karibu Sana. We do anything and everything here. Um, if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, so on this video, I wanted to show you guys a few things that I'm shooting from AliExpress. Um, I did uh, do small shopping around 13th of January and some of the things have already arrived. Uh, the first package arrived yesterday. The second one has got in today. I shipped in um, charging stations, two charging stations, uh, I think one for multiple devices and another one for more or less Apple. Uh, some makeup brushes um, and a jewelry organizer, no, a couple of them because when I was shipping in the organizer, my intention for shipping them in was to cost sell a couple of them and make a small profit out of um, them. So the jewelry organizers are the ones that came in yesterday, so the past to arrive. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the noise outside. I hope it's not going to interfere with the voice or sound of this video. So what I'm going to do, uh, since uh, not all the packages have arrived, I'm just going to film this video in bits. And then when all of them have uh, arrived, then I can uh, combine all the videos and then post it as one video. So you'll bear with me for that so i shipped them in from i shopped rather on 13th and then first the first one came in yesterday which was 30 yesterday was 31st today is first so this, this is the second package that i've got i don't know if it's so let's start with i already um opened the jewelry organizer and i got six of them uh i tried buy uh one of them locally there's a very famous page online that i saw was stocking this um and i tried not even i tried i considered buying for a second but nikawa they're selling it a bit too expensive they were selling one at i think maybe 2300 or something yeah i felt like that was a bit on the higher side so i decided to ship some and because i know um I have friends who like such things. Uh, I decided to. Oh, I decided to ship in extra pieces, uh, of course, for selling. So this is what I shipped in. I shipped a couple of colors. I shipped black, brown, and peach. Um, so this is how they look like. Uh, you put in your two necklaces here, and then the extra long part hangs inside this car, car compartment and then you can put um, maybe your earrings here your small earrings like your loop small earrings here and if you have rings if you're a ring wearer you can put them here and then this also part this part comes out so you can put maybe your lipsticks and something like a watch if you want to carry a watch you have more than one piece you put them here and they can and they can fit very very well yeah, and they can fit very very well and you can at least travel more or less <laughs> organized so yeah uh, and it was the prices were very fair if you're interested in a piece I think you can just log into Aliexpress um, you'll find them there shipping is not as complicated as people imagine uh, the shipping address that I use is I just put my postal code and my name and sometimes i add um the building where i work and the office where i work so that just in case they decide to uh, bring it paka hapa they can just bring without any problems so uh this first package came through poster for some reason i don't know why but kitambo it's not my first time uh shopping on aliexpress the first few times I've shopped on Aliexpress, the packages came through Posta. You just go um, buy, uh, pay like a hundred shillings. There was one time I paid more than a hundred shillings. They charged me duty. I can't remember why. 
I didn't think much about it, but I still don't understand why. Because the other few times that I shipped, um, I've only paid 100 book to poster. So these ones came through poster, and I paid 100 shillings. I really, I don't know why they came through poster, but yeah. So I bought um, six of these. I took one. I've sold so far one, two, three, four. I've sold so far four. Uh, so So yeah, shipping in these things, it's not, it's not hard. They'll come through. Maybe, maybe uh, doing very, very large uh, purchases is maybe where I might be a bit skeptical. But so far, so good. There's nothing I've ever shipped that has gotten lost. Plus, on AliExpress, I think they have this thing of uh, three parties the buyer the seller and the middleman so when you send money from you now as you are purchasing the money stays with the middle person i think it's now aliexpress or something i don't usually understand how aliexpress works but uh in terms of payment that is what i understand you pay it stays with the middleman so this guy more or less receives a notification that you've paid so he packages and ships the things for you and then now when you get them you now confirm you have to confirm that you have received the items and they're in good condition and it's exactly what you shipped in so so that this middle guy can now pay the uh, seller right that is why that is i think how it works plus also sometimes when you don't let's say when your package um gets lost or maybe you get something that um something that is the, the quality is not very good or the standard is not what you actually saw online you can open a dispute and uh complain and maybe ask for your money back and uh what else ask for your money back and maybe i don't know if you can return because there was one time actually i now that i remember there was one time i shopped i shipped something in it was just like a very interesting <laughs> thing i can't even remember what it's called i can't remember what it's called but i know how it looks like you see these things people where we have very low cut um tops it has a lot of straps just going around so i shipped um a couple of those ones but they never got to me so after like a few months i opened a dispute and said i never got the those things so they refunded me my money so it works i for big purchases i can't confirm but for the small small packages that i've been shipping in everything has opened been. another uh, package that came today i think these ones are what are they called the charging station so uh since they came in today these ones now came directly to the office which is why i'm saying i don't understand why the other one came to poster because they stopped uh, bringing in things to me. So, I don't know. I really like that one. Beats me. So uh, this one came in today. And they brought it directly to the office. So I figured I can as well just start this video from here. Uh, unbox this one with you. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to share the prizes also. So that if you're interested maybe you can keep it for yourself. Yeah, so these are the charging stations. So, uh, as of right now, I can't um, quite confirm that I have received the items yet. I'm going to test them and make sure that they are working. So that now, when I'm satisfied, now I can log into my account and then go and confirm that I have received the package and that they are in good condition. So that I don't, I'm not always in a hurry to confirm anything because sometimes you can confirm that you have received them, but the item that you have received is maybe substandard or is not working, you know, everything has like a fault or something. So you might imagine that um, the item that you shipped is okay and it might not be okay. So for me, it's safer for me to confirm when I have tested and make sure that they are working. Um, since I'm at the office right now, I really, I can't say I'm up to testing right now so this is how it looks like so this is the charging station this is this can charge a couple of devices at once there is the wireless um charging station here 
and then this one is for an apple this one is a kawaida cable this one is a type c and then this one is an apple so uh what i would do is i would probably put my phone here because this one looks actually no i would probably put um earphones here and then my phone here because of this thing so that it can be supported and then you now you can charge uh, several devices and anything that can be charged wirelessly you can press it here so i figured this is like a steel um and these things are not that expensive on alibaba so if you can please like jump on that bandwagon because i feel like things on ali not alibaba aliexpress alibaba is like um aliexpress but for bulky um purchases so if you are not yet on that bandwagon please do because it makes a lot of sense to be honest uh so it came also with this i'm not sure what this one is for okay you place it here but i no i'm not really really sure how this one works but anyway i'll figure it out so this is how it looks i'm going to test all of them tomorrow just to make sure that they're working before i confirm so this is now uh the one that i intend to actually it's not just apple mainly for uh for phone plus iwatch oh this one is just for apple clearly for some reason i thought i saw android anyway so this is the charging station that more or less i got personally for myself this one I can use it with um, uh, my roommates because some of them have type C, some of them have Kawaida chargers. Uh, I mean, they use Kawaida chargers. So, this one I bought for all of us, but this one I bought specifically for myself because, um, first of all, it's not bulky. Secondly, I can charge my phone here, I can charge earphones here, and I can charge my smartwatch here, I mean my Apple Watch here. So, it makes a lot of sense and it's so, like it's so uh, portable. This is something I can travel with without issues and I really love it and I also don't have to like carry like a bunch of cables, I just need one. One that will, you know, like power the station, the charging station and that's it. You see like this one uh the one that powers is a usb uh cable this one i can go and find it anywhere in the viewer as opposed to like you know that sometimes when you when you <laughs> when you charge your or rather when your charger has like a type c to like an iphone it's it's just complicated because you see now you have to look for an adapter that has a type c outlet and then now you charge your phone it's just it's complicated i find it complicated so um yeah so this is how it looks like again i'm not going to test it right now i'm just going to flip them and then i'll test it tomorrow so this is how it looks like this is like super super um portable i like the way it looks this is something i can put on my office desk and charge my phone and charge my what is it called watch and earphones here without as in i don't need to have several cables to charge at the same time which is awesome for me I'm all about um, convenience and this made a lot of sense so this is how it looks like the outlet is a kawaida usb which is great to be honest like this i'm all about this so yeah those are the few things that um i managed to ship uh the other ones are makeup brushes i'm hoping they'll be here maybe in the next two weeks maximum uh yeah that's it and like i'm so happy about my purchases and i will definitely recommend um you to go and try so this was the third package that i got this was a travel organizer it's just one big pouch that has a few compartments where you can throw in your uh sprays the the, the small bottle sprays um sunscreen any face cream that you plan to carry at least that's what i'm going to use it for um i have a similar i had a similar one from simi vogue uh it has three compartments separate compartments um and then you can roll it over and it looks like one big pouch but that one i use it on a daily to carry my makeup because i never really get the chance to do my makeup in the house because i always wake up late and i'm always running late 
so that's the one that i use uh, to carry my makeup around with me So these are the makeup brushes that I shipped in. Um, I shipped this one, Pekeake. I shipped these three came together, and then this pulley and a uh, small angled um, brush came alone. I didn't want to film these ones separately. I just wanted to get them all together, and then now I can show you um, all the brushes. I think um, all of them costed me less than a thousand let's say maximum a thousand two hundred which is very very um, uh, pocket friendly compared to how much these things go for here like there was a site I saw this one only this one this pulley and um, that angled end this type of brush rather was going for 500 shillings which I felt was too much and i knew even if i shipped it in it wouldn't have costed me that much and it actually costed me less so for these brushes to cost me around 1200 to me that was more affordable than buying them locally so today i wanted to make um ginger garlic carrot um lemon shorts so these are the ingre ingredients that i plan to use a bit of carrot um, ginger and turmeric uh, some lemon and some uh, garlic I also had some fruits to blend but there's a high likelihood I'm not going to show you how I blended these fruits because this video is going to be too long So this was the final product i wanted to uh, stir it properly mix it and then put them on the silicone um, ice maker and freeze them
After I was done, I put them in the freezer and waited for them to freeze. So these are the fruits that I earlier showed you. Some I blended, some I decided to store for future uh, use. So this is the um, remainder of the shots that I was blending earlier, the turmeric and garlic ginger and a bit of carrot and lemon it was really really potent but i was really really proud of it this is my first time actually doing it and i'm going to make it a thing the small containers that you can see at the back i use them to store ella's uh, smoothies so that when they need she needs to take one they just have to remove one container instead of removing all and then freezing all of it so this is how my shots came out i put them in a what is it called a silicone uh, ice maker i want to pop them they're already frozen i want to pop them and put them in these two uh, glass jars and put them back in the freezer so that in case anyone feels like um taking one or two they can just remove it from the glass containers and use it with cold or hot water however they like it yeah i guess that's it working with turmeric is such a hassle it tends to discolor a lot of things it's even discolored you can see my manicure this one was supposed to be white but now it's some shade of yellow which is very annoying so yeah i just want to pop them real quick um put them back in the freezer and then go to bed Unfortunately, my phone died on me, but this is how they look like. 